Sap, the only thing worse than his stats is some of them outfits. <laughs> 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 and, and you came out with it right there looking like homie the clown engine choo-choo coordinator. What the hell? And I want to know who the hell that is over there, you know, vouching for this shit. Because somebody over there got to be like, you know, you know, Cam, that, you know, Dak Prescott is almost a 70% completion guy in the National Football League right now. You know, you know, the man's got three straight, four straight, you know, Cowboys going 30, 40 points. A game manager? The- Cam you- wants a network TV job. That's, Not doing this. That's what he'd be better off with a podcast, cussing like Charleston White, and and you know doing that. <laughs> yeah, do that. that could, son, son, get your bubble gum chewing, ex quarter, ex half running back. You talk about a glorified running back playing the quarterback position. That's exactly what Cam Newton has always been. You talking about some out routes where he bounced it on the ground? The worm balls, I think, Randall, the great Randall Cunningham calls them. That's what Cam Newton was notorious for. And then you leave the church's money on the ground on the greatest stage we know, the Super Bowl, and won't go stick your 275-pound nose in there to go get that ball back to go for that last drive. Cam, we saw it, son. You powdered in the Super Bowl. You left the church's money on the ground, and now you want to call – the best quarterbacks we have playing good football right now, game managers, stop it. The game is open. They throw it 40 times a game. What the hell have you been watching? No one, no one checks it down anymore. We throw it deep on 32 when, when they blitz us. You, did you see the Pittsburgh game? Come on, Cam. So a while back, after Cam Newton made his game manager comments about Brock Purdy, Tua Tungabaloa, Jared Goff, and Dak Prescott, this was Warren Sapp's take on the former Panthers QB, basically calling him a glorified running back. Sapp isn't everyone's cup of tea and isn't one to really bite his tongue when it comes to talking about others. Anyways, the situation boiled over recently after Cam doubled down on his comments on Brock not being one of the top 10 players on the 49ers, and in all honesty, I'm not sure if I agree with him. Yeah, the 49ers have a ton of dogs on offense and defense with the likes of Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, C-Mac, Debo and Kittle among others, but that shouldn't take away anything the second year QB has accomplished. The way he said it just minimized everything Brock has done in his two years in San Francisco. Let me reiterate, the youngster in his first season took his team to the championship game before getting injured and now has led his team to the Super Bowl. I don't care what kind of talent you're surrounded by, it is a difficult task to win two to three straight playoff games. Anyways, the other day during Super Bowl week, Cam on his podcast had Warren Sapp on his show 4th and 1 and confronted the former D lineman about his criticism of him and things kind of got a little contested before the pair ultimately made amends and shook hands. Have a listen. Because even though there were certain takes about Cam Newton that I were to say like, that's not true. Which one? I, I keep that it up. Yes. Oh, we're going to get but, to you, brother. Oh, please. Come but, on. but check. Please. I don't bring no emotions. Please. I don't, I don't bring no emotions no, to it. No, no. It's, because not, it's, it's not personal. But it this ain't. is the thing. Yeah. And, it, and it made sense when I was talking to Kimberly last night. I said to myself, I was like, yo, they have more airtime than I have. Of course. So if they, have a, if they have a take, they can make a mis- or they can have a take on one of their segments they can have another take on another segment they can have another take on i only have a take for this time period that i'm okay. on you so see what i'm saying? saying so to your take where you said cam newton is just being an ass cam newton was just a glorified running back mm-hmm. that's a subjective state mm-hmm. and at the end of the day you just said not me you just said it if i'm asking for a quarterback's take you're going to revert to the quarterback hold on he said all right about- what we were talking about in those instances were you were taking Brock Purdy, mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts. What was the other quarterback? No, 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 no. Brock Purdy, Tua Tungabaloa. Tua Tungabaloa that led the league in passing. Yes. Brock Purdy that's in the Super Bowl. What was the other quarterback? Jared Goff. Jared Goff that was in the NFC Championship game. Right. Okay. And what was the other game manager? Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott that led the league in passing touchdowns this year. So we got the passing leader in yards, touchdowns, and the guy that's in the Super Bowl and the guy that was in the NFC Championship game are game managers. Yes, sir. How'd you get to that? The guy that won the Super Bowl with you, his name was who? Brad Johnson. Was he a game changer or a game manager? Come on now. You know I got a rule right now. There's three things on my football team you don't touch. Mm -hmm. My head coach, my kicker, and my quarterback. Mm -hmm. You love Troy Aikman? Love him. 
Who has more quarterback? Who has more touchdown passes? Troy Aikman or that guy you're talking about, my quarterback, Brad Johnson? That's not you're not answering my question. Just because he has a lot of touchdowns doesn't mean he's a game changer. He's Correct. still a game, game manager. So Did he, you see him in Minnesota with Randy Moss now? No. But, you didn't see him in, in, in Washington with I'm the, gonna let you the, finish. The, the, uh, with, I just want to make my point. And he drove them and the only reason he got beat because he was with us and the, the ball, the, the guy, the guy from the, the the field goal at the end of the game. We beat him 14-13. The year I went to the championship game and lost to the greatest show on turf against Marshall Saint, Faulkner. Uh, okay. St. Louis Rams. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. In 99 year, Brad Johnson was in my stadium, had yeah. me on the ropes, 13 nothing, and all of a sudden we we came out of nowhere, scored two touchdowns, and they lined up for the game winning field goal, and, and the damn holder <laughs> messed it up. Right. But that don't make him a game changer though, bro. This is what the I'm trying to tell you. man's a world champion. I understand the that. The man's a world champion. What What? What about a man's world championship or gold jacket that you can throw dirt on to say what That's about not, it? Hold on. Stop. No, no, no. I'm saying you're talking about a game changer. The man won the greatest game we know. And in that game, you had a ball right in front of you, and you didn't stick your nose to go back and get it after mm-hmm. it came out your hand. Right. But I, I I think you're regurgitating my information as a, as a knock on – his play. I think of that Tampa Bay Buccaneers team as a defensive team. As a defensive team. But I'm not because of but but listen, I done made you make your point. I, it's <laughs> not because of Brad Johnson though. You see what I'm saying? That's my take. It's a defensive team that was led by Brooks, right? Yourself, Barber. Like it's a whole slew of talent that I think about before I think about Brad Johnson. I know. So and that's then, my point when I'm saying about San Francisco. The numbers, right? I'm because, thinking about San Francisco 49ers. This, this was 20 years ago. Yes, sir. 20 years ago. 21 now. Okay. Can you do something for me? <laughs> yeah, I got can you. Can we look in the numbers? Yes, sir. And Let's look at quarterback it. Quarterback driving this thing up and down the field, throwing two touchdowns to Keenan McCardle on Charles Woodson. Yes, sir. With Rod Woodson in the backfield. Yes, sir. What part of it my quarterback didn't change about the game? You know, when we think about them, them, them quintessential quarterback, you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Because why I call you a glorified running back? Because you attacking these these guys. I'm not attacking them. No, no. well, you Can call I, them game man. That's a, I'm not. That's not attack. No, 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 it's no. a style of play. That's, that's, that's a style of playing. What? But the, but the, but you're There's no such thing as a game manager style of play. No, but you're taking you talking about? you're taking a game manager as a sign of disrespect, and it it's is. not. No, it's not. That's not for you. It is for well, me. That's how it was intended. A manager as a quarterback. Been a good tag. Name me that guy. Uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady. The Pay- greatest of all time with seven elite. championships. Elite. Is a game manager. He's an elite game so manager. I didn't hear you say I have them in this game manager category because the top game manager is Tom Brady. No, but I don't have the airtime though. No, no, he did name no, no, Tom I Brady now. On fourth and one where we spit the facts. Come right? on. Yes, sir. The, Tom Brady, game manager. Elite. Elite game manager. game manager. Yes. yes. Okay, so game manager is not a bad term. So yeah, that was the interaction between the pair. It appears like many others who contested Cam's claims that the two had a different interpretation of the term game manager. Personally for me and for most other people, the word game manager isn't particularly received with glowing terms. Usually we call QBs like Brad Johnson or Trent Dilfer game managers, guys who are pretty much led by their defense to get where they are, but to call these four QBs game managers I think is a tad bit harsh. Like Warren Sapp mentioned, all these QBs led the league in major statistical categories and most wouldn't consider what they achieved in 2023 to be that of a game manager. Anyhow, what do y'all think about Cam's comments and Warren's response? Do you think Warren was justified in his reaction to Cam? And would any of you guys label Tom Brady as a game manager?